I'm always inspired by people who look around and see ways that they can make a difference and then they go and do it. My guests today fall into that category and I love how they are using things like Christmas tree ornaments, applesauce and hope totes to creatively do their part as they share the love of Jesus. So it's great to have you all here today. Welcome. And I'm going to start over here with my friend Ella. And this is Abby, or Ashley and Ella Hickton. Sorry, Abby's your sister. She's at home today. Um, and so we're so glad to have you here today, Ella. So Ella, can you tell us what exciting project you've been working on lately? I've been working on ornaments for Watoto. Ornaments for Watoto. So the ornaments on this tree here, you made those, didn't you? They are yeah. beautiful. And so did the Watoto, did you see the choir somewhere recently? Um, at my church. At your church. And so how did that make you feel? Why did you want to help them? I saw a video where the mom had to leave a baby and um, it made me want to help them. That's so amazing. So how much money have you raised so far? $500. $500. That's fantastic. And what do you want the money to go towards? Um, the babies at Watoto. The babies. I think you want to buy toys for them, right? Mm -hmm. That is incredible and very inspiring. Ashley, I know you've been busy too helping mm -hmm. <laughs> Ella with her project. Yeah. Um, as a mom, why has it been important for you to just support her in this project? Yeah, she was pretty passionate about this project when she saw the video. Um, it actually really moved her um, and she wanted to make a difference. So we kind of thought of something easy that we could do, but also that we could um, hopefully make some money, which we did. Yes. Yeah. That is so great. So mm -hmm. you know what's going to be exciting is down the road when you're able to see um, the children playing with the toys that you help buy for them. Mm -hmm. That's so awesome. And you know what, Ella, you inspire me um, because you are in grade one and just look at what you did to make a difference. That's awesome. So thanks for being here and sharing your project with us. So Thank good. You. Thanks, Ella. Thank you. And so next over here, I have Katie Nicole. Hi, Katie. Hello. It's great to have you. So Katie, you're a student, you're a photographer, mm -hmm. and you're also really passionate about your city. You're from Hamilton, Ontario. Yeah. So you have a ministry called Love on Hamilton. So tell me how that got started. Yeah, it was actually really cool. A couple years ago, I started helping out downtown with another ministry. Um, after like a year or so, I felt God calling me away from that. And then I still felt called downtown. So I started walking the streets of Hamilton. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it was just like, it was just huge on my heart. I knew that God had placed this vision on me mm -hmm. and that this is what I was supposed to do. And it, it kind of went a lot bigger than I expected it to. I didn't know the church was going to sponsor it, but it ended up happening. And now there's tons of people that come and walk the streets and just love on the city. It's so fantastic. Um, I love a story that I saw you posted on Facebook. Um, it was your birthday and you asked people, it was around Thanksgiving, instead of getting gifts for yourself, you asked people to bring food donations. So what happened in that story? Yeah, so we just wanted to go and bring a Thanksgiving dinner that actually had never been done for the homeless people before. Like all the homeless people were like, wow, no one's ever done this before. So that like made us feel really good. Um, it was crazy. We only expected to feed for like 100 people. We ended up feeding more than that, like close to 200. So we definitely feel like God multiplied the food and it yeah. was just like such a great night. That's so fantastic. And I've noticed another initiative you've started as well called Hope Totes. So tell mm -hmm. us what that is. Yeah, so for Christmas time, we're going to be bringing out little packages for the homeless people. So I have like toothbrushes, um, deodorant, uh, pretty much anything that just helps them stay clean and also dry socks, things like that, mm -hmm. that'll just keep them warm. Um, so we're just trying to create as many packages as we can and then bring them out near Christmas. So that way they have an, a nice little Christmas present. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. So as a young person, how has this like impacted your life just helping this way? Um, it's really changed me as a person, changed my perspective. I didn't know that this was kind of happening in Hamilton. You know, you just come as a child and in a good neighborhood, you don't know what's happening downtown. Mm -hmm. So when I actually started going out, it just really opened my eyes and I just feel like God gave me a lot of compassion for the homeless yeah. people. That's incredible. Mm -hmm. I love seeing um, young adults just engaged, living out their faith so practically. So just blessings on you as you continue to support um, the you. people in, the, in your community. It's really great. Thank you. Awesome. Thanks, Katie. So and finally down here, we have some more friends. Hello. Hi. And we have Christy McGee and we have Sarah Brown and we have Sarah's two children, Tyson and Marley. It's so great to have you. you. So um, right now on the world stage, you know, we hear so much about the refugee crisis. Mm -hmm. Even today, I know that there are people arriving in our country and, mm -hmm. and we want to help and we want to be part of that. So Christy, you started Sauces for Syria. So mm -hmm. what inspired you to do that? Um, as a stay at home mom, I find your world can get really, really small and you can get focused on yourself very quickly. And I was just inspired to get outward focused and just needed to do something so that I, I would um, 
just to do my part. And yeah. so canning is something that is I could do, and that's yeah. what kind of got this started. That's great. So what are the organizations that you were supporting? So part of our money went to World Vision, mm -hmm. and another chunk went to Hanover Missionary Church, who's actually sponsoring a family to come over. And so that... That's great. And I love, because so many people are wondering, what can we do to help? How can we get involved? So, you know, yeah. just taking practical... Thing, something yeah. like canning and just using that to support people. How right. much money did you end up raising? Uh, just just about $3,500. That's incredible. That's mm -hmm. awesome. Thank so you. Sarah, so you are Christy's sister. So yeah. you got involved in this as well. So why did you start helping out your sister? Besides uh, the fact that she's your yes. sister and you do anything for her. Absolutely. <laughs> it's a nice chance to be able to be together, I think, and yeah. do this together. Um, I saw her picture on Facebook and I thought, I want to be part of that. Mm -hmm. I think we could sell sauces. and. Yeah. Yeah, so we, we did it together. That's so she started it with a tomato sauce and yeah. salsa and applesauce, and then I joined in with some applesauce. Great, you could go like the whole like vegetable fruit yeah. season. Yeah, <laughs> really exactly. Good. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, so Tyson and Marley, I know you were part of this too. So what, Tyson, what, what were some of the things that you did to help out? So we washed apples and sold them. Oh, that's good. That's really good. What about you, Marley? What did you do? Um, I washed apples. You washed apples? That's a very important so. job. Yes. Did yep. you take like the stems out of the apples too? Yeah. yeah so there's no stems in your sauce. No. <laughs> Good. No, okay. And I know also that you were helping to sell the jars at church, right? Mm -hmm. And you had a special little saying that you would do when people would come up to the table. What was that? Can you do it really loud right into the camera for us? What would you say to people? Sauces, 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 we can make a difference. <laughs> I Good love job, that. Guys. We can make a difference. And um, I love that, you know, like I said, you took something just, you know, you used what you had in front mm -hmm. of you and you used that to make a difference. And you brought your family together as well to it. So that's really inspiring to me. So thank mm -hmm. you. Thank you all of you. Um, you know, this time of year, we're always looking for um, things that we can be a part of, but not just this time of year, like just always looking around us and seeing how we can engage and be part of things. So I hope that you're inspired today. And remember that we can all make a difference right where we are with the gifts that we have been given.